it's time for Mr. Fix It, powered by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Chevy dealers. Oh, our buddy Mr. Fix It's back, talking about fun stuff. Aren't you all excited? Yes. I have bags Ooh, of stuff in front of us. Can't wait. So put your hand on this bag right here. That's chicken poop. Oh, great. <laughs> Yeah. The whole point of today's uh, segment is organic gardening. This yeah. is the thing that we, uh, a lot of people, like baby steps, what can we do to help the environment? And I am a big uh, proponent of, we gotta get out of the chemical, chemical stuff. Mm -hmm. And certainly you're doing stories here on the shortage of fertilizer and how it's affecting farmers as well as consumers. It's really not gonna affect consumers this year at all, but if things continue out, uh, what's going on now with uh, the war in Ukraine, it could next year. But if we get into organic stuff, a lot of the stuff is made here, comes from sourced here. These are two really good products right here. This is a, a guy by the name of Dave Thompson and it's an organic uh, food for your lawn and garden. This is a version for vegetables, and it is made from chicken poop. Okay. Have you ever been to a chicken farm? No. All right. It is the smell. Not on my list. It is the <laughs> smelliest place you'll ever go. Okay, so this smells pretty bad? No, it doesn't, actually. Okay. But the chicken farm does. Got it. This is a product called a spoma. It doesn't smell bad. And uh, this is their what they call their tomato tones. Now, do you would you even grow a tomato? No. Do you like tomatoes? No, no, no. I wouldn't seek it out. All right, fine. So are these as expensive as the chemical no, ones? They're a little bit more expensive, okay. but they, you don't use a ton of this. Now, this is, if you're growing tomatoes, this is the stuff you want to mix into Got the it. soil. I mean, it is, they are going to explode and be deep and red and delicious. And either one of these can be used in the garden. So if you're doing edibles, you don't have to worry about it whatsoever, meaning you're going to eat the vegetables. Okay, it's thank you. It's a natural <laughs> product, orga organic. Not, you're not edibles. All like, right. It's legal now. Just move on. Okay. Now, how about... Um, do you have hostas? Do you know what a hosta don't, is? I might have them and I don't even know. Okay, so uh, this is called Captain Jack's. Ooh, right? <laughs> Dead bug group. Uh, Paul. Oh, yeah. I think I have those. Okay, uh, where, so what happens is right now they look really good. Oh, and the but leaves But the minute the bugs yeah. come in, and they're going to come, so you spray the Captain Jack's on there, and when you do, you go, arg when you spray it because it's yeah, Captain Jack's. I got where, you. Hey, Paul, where does, a, uh, where does a pirate get his coffee? Uh... I know. Starbucks. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was worth yeah, the wait. That was Are worth we the wait. Wait, real quick, hey, Paul. Yeah. What's a uh, pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? Uh, I give up. R. No, it's the C. Uh, uh, you're all weekend, everybody. Enjoy the view. Please okay. Be out of time. Two other quick ones, real quick. Organic, right here. Yeah. Uh, this is a company called Bonite. Also makes this thing called Neem Oil. This is an all-natural product. It's actually, it's it's not olive oil, but that's what I would say it is. And and you mix it. It's a concentrate, and it puts a film of the oil over the leaves, and the bugs don't like it. And it's all natural, and Got you it. can use it on all different kinds of plants and then this product this line safer it's actually a soap based fungicide mm. doesn't that sound good yeah and the whole idea is that these are all safe to use you're worried about kids animals and then you're making a garden you're gonna eat the stuff this is the stuff to use thanks Arr. yeah is uh, <laughs> more great jokes like that on Saturday mornings on WGN radio yeah. how have you lasted this long I know it's amazing uh, how smarts here on WGN Saturdays at 3 30 thanks Lou hey